Have you ever wondered how Hubble is able to take such amazing pictures? I mean, if you think about it, Hubble's in a low Earth orbit around the Earth, and it orbits the Earth about 14 times a day. That means that it has to have some way to control its orientation, dealing with things like the orbital blatantness of the Earth, solar radiation, or any other external force causing the orientation of the satellite to change. This is the ultra deep field. It was taken by Hubble, and it represents the furthest we've been able to see in the universe. The image contains 5,500 galaxies, each one containing hundreds of thousands of stars. In order for Hubble to take this picture, it had to remain incredibly still. So how did it do it? Well, Hubble has a control system. That control system has two gyros, a fine guidance sensor, and four reaction wheels. In the world of controls, this is a simplified block diagram where K1 represents the position feedback, K2 represents the velocity feedback, and the two green circles represent the thrusters. Hubble has an F2G control law, where F represents the fine guidance sensors and the 2G represents the two gyros. This is the F2G control law block diagram. You'd see this in a simulink code. On the bottom, you'll see a KD, a KP, and a KI, which is your standard PID controller. So this is how it all works. Hubble gets an input to change its attitude or orientation. That message gets sent to the control law. That control law sends it to the actuators, where the actuators are reaction wheels. The reaction wheels change the orientation of the plant. That new orientation is your output. The output is measured by the sensors, which is your fine guidance sensors, and it's referenced with the input. If the input isn't the same as the output, the process continues and the control law drives the error to zero. This is how Hubble is able to take such amazing pictures. Keep looking up.